Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Waimea Valley. Today we're gonna be pounding poi and we got some Ele Ele Makoko variety here. And I'm just doing the cleaning process right now and it requires about three cleaning stages. A hand cleaning stage when I just use my hand and I wipe off all the skin. Once I got all the skin taken off, I'll get a butter knife or a spoon or any kind of tool that works, everybody's different. And then all the little fibery pieces, remove it. All the unedible part that's not edible. After I remove the skin and all the little fibery pieces, I'm gonna do a third cleaning. The third cleaning, I'm removing the sugar, the, the sugary part of the kalo. It's called quena. In Hawaiian name is quena. So when you plant kalo, you know, it starts off a nice corm and it's really starchy. And over time, that starch gets converted into sugar. And for hand pounders, we don't want to pound the starchy and the sugar together. We take off the sugar, the quena. We take it off, we keep it, it's delicious. And we can make kololo with it. It's, you know what that is? No. It's like a dessert. It's made with um, coconut milk. Mm. Yeah, it's really yummy. Here's a small piece in case you don't that, like it. That point right there changed my follow experience. You want to try some? Yeah. But we just want to pound the innermost starchiest part of the corn to get nice silky smooth poi. And the goal is texture here. We're looking for a nice texture, kind of like the consistency of, of mochi maybe. And it'll have like a pushback, like rubbery and springy and sticky and yumminess. Okay, now I have beautifully clean kalo here. This um, variety is called Ele Ele Makoko. And first thing I want to do is just dampen my poha, my, my papakuyai, just so it don't stick. And I'll start with one small piece at a time. Can you explain about the pounder? So this is the most valuable tool called pohaku kuyai, and it has multiple parts. And this is so this part right here is called the mole. This right here, it's called the cut. And then right here is the yuku'ao. And there's a pui hui. Before electricity, and cars, and lights, and obnoxious sounds, and blowers, and chainsaws. <laughs> and all you would hear was. Throughout the whole valley. My uncles. When I was younger, taught me a lot about cooking and eating kalo mostly. And then I always tried to use beer mugs and, and pound whatever and squeeze it through a cheesecloth or whatever how to make koi. And then over time, I finally um, I made my own um, pohaku and my own papakuyai. <laughs> so yeah, now when right you make there, koi, yeah. you put the pohaku away. Then you get all this. Can you get a little bit before you put it away? Of course! Thank you. So dicky now, that's why I didn't want to You start. like it? I'm glad I you do. like it. it so after different. this, is, we're going to try another flavor. Okay. Yep, yep. We're going to make it to the poi. Okay. Then I'll make it back up into the little spot. Make a little puka like that. A little bit more water. Not too much, you know, just a little at a time. Okay. And then fold it in, fold it in, fold it in. Now let's say we're, um, we're all sitting around the family. There's an etiquette to eating poi with oh, the really? family. Yes. So you don't go past your second knuckle. Are you uh, getting this? Yeah. Okay. And you start at 12 o'clock and you go like this. If you go past there, you're greedy. But you see how it's really intimate. How we're like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure that walk will shed its skin in. <laughs> I'm using my hand and blah blah blah. So it's a really intimate thing. It's a family thing. Mm, I like that. Yeah, that's what 